Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Ranjit. So we're going to start the 30 day challenge and we, we need some theme, right? So for the all the 30 days of the September, what you're going to have is we're going to have real time cases. I'll give you the information of a real case, whatever came to the hospital. And I want you to come to a diagnosis. It might be in hematology, cytology, histopathology, IHC, flow cytometry, genetics, whatever it is, right? If I find any interesting case, definitely at least there'll be one interesting case. Need not be an amazing finding. It can be a very subtle finding like anti-vitaminia or can be a difficult case as well. I just want you to make an attempt. Why to read with MCQs when you can see real cases, right? So today I'm going to give a case. I'll give you the exact case history. Maybe I will... Uh, Ignore few salient points to avoid the identification of the patient. Rest of the history I'll give. This patient is an uh, elderly woman, came with uh, uh, difficulty or uh, altered voice. That was the finding clinical presentation. And it would, it was evaluated for that, went to ENT, then went to a um, uh, pulmonologist because there was a lung mass discovered on an X-ray while taking. And CD was done, there's a mediastinal mass. Along with that, there were bilateral lung masses. So the whole body evaluation started and there was also a liver mass. There were multiple liver masses. The largest one was 7 into 7 centimeter. So we have to take a biopsy to, to prove that. So the radiologist went ahead with a core biopsy, guided biopsy of the liver to look for uh, what tumor it is. We saw the tumor. It had an uh, tumor cells, neoplastic cells admits with your normal hepatocytes. I'm not going to tell the pattern because it might give away the diagnosis, right? Large polygonal cells, epithelial cells, right? And we did apply IHC on that. The IHC on that is what we're going to see here, right? There's a list of IHC which is done. And here you can definitely see there are many markers done CK7, CK20, the routine ones, TTF, HEPAR to rule out it's uh, really a liver origin or not. And of these markers, you can see that three of them are positive, right? Your CK7 is positive, TTF1 is positive, Napsin is also positive. There are a few more markers as well. I'll reveal it later. I just want you to comment on what is the diagnosis which comes to your mind looking at this. The history again here is an mediastinal mass presenting with a hoarseness of voice and bilateral lung masses, lesions, and also the lesion in the liver. And this is the biopsy from the liver. You have to tell me whether it is a liver primary or if it is a metastasis to the liver. If it's metastasis to the liver, what is the probable primary? I'm sure you must have cracked it. If you've done that, please comment below. Okay, see you soon tomorrow with a real case. Be sharp here at 9 a.m. I'll be presenting a case to you and you guys are going to diagnose. Let's become pathologists. Let's become diagnosticians. Okay, thank you for your time. See you tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.